The Pikes Peak International Hill Climb is an annual self-sanctioned automobile competition in Colorado, USA. The so-called Trace to the Clouds goes through the Pikes Peak Highway, has over 156 turns and measures 12.42 miles or nearly 20 kilometers. This challenging race consists of six divisions and through the years has defeated many daredevils, but they still choose to come back next year for another run. In this video we shall explore the most successful hill climbers from the recent years, going over their creators, drivers, records and speeds. So if you haven't already, subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, ring the bell and let's start the engines. Tesla Model S Plaid by Unplug Performance Founded in 2013 near the Tesla's design headquarters in Hawthorne, California, Unplug Performance have become the undisputed leaders in premium performance upgrades to Tesla vehicles. After suffering an upsetting crash of their Model 3 at the last year's International Hill Climb, Unplugged are back with Elon Musk's new creation. Backed by the sponsors from Bill Stein, Braille Battery and Yokohama, the Californians took a Model S Plaid, stripped it down to the bone, installed a large front splitter and rear spoiler, and repainted the sedan in a striped theme. This time, they completed the weather-shortened course with flying colors and posted the best time in the exhibition class of 6 minutes 57 seconds. The factory driver Randy Pabst was not pushing the platform too far, but he still managed to reach a whopping average speed of 80 miles per hour. As a reminder, the new Tesla Model S Plaid gets a tri-motor all-wheel drive powertrain that yields 1,020 horsepower and ensures 0-60 to time with rollout in under 2 seconds. Bentley Continental GT3 Pike Speak Dubbed the most extreme vehicle in the company's history, the very special Continental GT3 was built with the sole purpose to win the Time Attack 1 class dominated last year by Porsche 911 GT2 RS Club Sport. Responsible for this task was the three-time Pike Speak champion Riz Millen, and though he finished second while experiencing late engine issues, the modified GT3 still greatly contributed to the history of the competition. Its stock 4.0-liter twin turbo V8 was revised to run on renewable racing fuel that is claimed to produce up to 85% fewer greenhouse gas emissions. The car with 750 horsepower and 737 pound-feet of torque also relied on water-cooled brakes, specific suspension settings and proper downforce provided by a gigantic rear wing. Acura TLX The previous generation TLX still holds two Pike Speak records. The first is the fastest climb for a front-wheel drive car set by Nick Robinson and his TLX Ace back in 2018, while the second is the fastest car in the highly competitive open class, finishing the race in 9 minutes and 24 seconds. The latter record was set by Peter Cunningham piloting the TLX GT in 2019. Of course, with the arrival of the second-gen model, Acura had to try it out on the course once again. In 2020, they brought to the summit two modified TLXs powered by 2-liter turbo force, while this season the time has come to put to the test the performance-oriented TLX Type S. Brought into motion by a stock 3-liter turbo V6 with 355 horses, the all-wheel drive sedan finished third in the exhibition class with John Guitar at the wheel. Additionally, another Type S car served as the official pace car for the race. As a part of the promotion, it was wearing striking Tiger Eye paint job and custom graphics. Smash the like button if you are a fan of racing competitions and make sure to mention what class of automobiles you would like us to review next. Thanks for your feedback and let's keep going! Champion Porsche 911 GT2 RS Club Sport the Florida-based champion Porsche marked their first Pikes Peak racing appearance since 2008 with a win of the 30th lifetime manufacturer's title for the German brand. To win the competition, the 911 GT2 RS Club Sport, driven by Roman Dumas, needed 5 seconds less than Bentley's GT3. But the record books will not be updated this time, since organizers had to close off the final section of the track due to severe weather. Champion Motorsports did not share specific performance details, but the modified 3.8-liter flat-six engine obviously could not produce less than the stock version with its 700 HP. 
to climb faster than the others, the regular racing ride in N11 GT2 RS Club Sports got an even bigger front splitter, a huge diffuser, front bumper canards, and an enormous rear wing. Acura NSX With a time attack win in 2016, a 10 minutes 1 second hybrid record set in 2020, and other multiple podium finishes across different classes, the NSX is easily one of the most successful cars at the bike speak. This season, the model is once again driven by Acura's engineer James Robinson, who finished 4th in the time attack division, climbing the shortened course in 7 minutes and 28 seconds. James' brother Nick led the NSX to win silver in this year's exhibition race. The competition model was based on the current in-production supercar, so it is propelled by the usual system of a 3.5-liter V6 and three electric motors. Here it is boosted to 625 horses sent to all four wheels. In addition, the car features lighter HRE wheels, Pirelli R compound tires, and a substantially stripped interior, dropping 200 pounds of weight. VW IDR The sole purpose of the IDR racer was to demonstrate the capabilities of Volkswagen's know-how that will be implemented in the MEB, a mass-market modular platform for the EVs of the conglomerate. Driven by Romain Dumas, among its latest records are the fastest lap at Nürburgring Ring Nordschleife and yet unbeaten hill climb times at Goodwood Festival of Speed, Tianmen Mountain and Shirley Pikes Peak. In 2018, averaging 94 miles per hour speed, Roman set a new benchmark within the unlimited category by completing the run in 7 minutes and 57 seconds. This was the first time a car got to the summit in under 8 minutes and a 15 seconds improvement over the previous record set by Sebastian Loeb in his Peugeot 208 T16. Weighing mere 2,500 pounds, this electric supercar is powered by a pair of electric motors, delivering a total power output of 680 HP and 479 pound-feet of torque. It sprints to 60 in 2.25 seconds, which makes it one of the quickest racers in the business. Tata Nexon EV concept for Pike's Peak In today's reality, it is hard to imagine the Indian automaker Tata ever officially participating in the climb. But hey, the exhibition class is open to anyone, so one of the Nexon EV SUV fans released a concept study for the model. By wearing beefier cladding, the blacked-out crossover with blue EV highlights becomes almost unrecognizable. Wide wheel arches accommodate massive nine-spoke alloys, while the front section obtains a tri-arrow grille pattern and an all-new lighting scheme. The centerpieces of the design, however, are a massive rear spoiler and front splitters. There is no mention about the upgrade and specifications. So let's recall the Nexon EV standard datasheet that lists a 129 horsepower E motor and a 30.2 kWh battery with 140 miles of range. Which bike speak racer is your favorite? Will this competition be dominated solely by electric cars in the nearest future? Let's talk this over in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, ring the bell and proceed to watching other videos by following the links on the screen. We'll see you!